Well, I thank my colleague from uh, Texas, Mr. William, for leading this tonight. And he finally ran out of Texans to present here, so we're now up to California. So uh, I'm honored to be able to be here tonight to, uh, to join in the commemoration and celebration of President Bush 41. Um, he, when, he, when he was uh, looked to for leadership, he came through in spades. Um, I recall mostly, I think, one of the strongest moments indeed was during the Gulf War desert storm. And his steady hand was what was needed at a very perilous time for our allies and neighbors in the Middle East that were counting on us, but also the ability to uh, keep the coalitions that America had been built over so many years and indeed form that coalition that helped us be successful on the world stage in that effort. And so that leadership, you know, he just, he, he exuded the leadership. I, I love the photograph, I think, the best of him. He's standing there in that bomber jacket looking off in the, in the distance. And just, just that photo uh, exudes confidence and gives us confidence in him as a leader at that time when it was so very perilous. He's a good man. He learned from mistakes that happened and he built upon them to be successful as a president and I think most importantly he would say as a family man. Indeed, when we all viewed the uh, service for him last week here. That beautiful family that he is so proud of really is a, a legacy that he can be proud of along with Barbara. That's the most important legacy. But also, and what he brought to the office, civility. Something that might be a little short-handed in the dealings in Washington, D.C. these days. Brought civility, he brought respect for the office, for the institution, and the interactions. Indeed, his ability to work across the aisle and post-presidency work with people that had been his opponents previously for causes that were bigger than all of us. He showed the way, he showed, showed the light when he talked about the thousand points of life and being able to accomplish and help others post-presidency. His sense of adventure jumping out of perfectly good airplanes at each, at each birth date or landmark birth date. I mean, that's, that's something else. And I'm, uh, I'm, uh, that makes me smile. And I think mostly he had a sense of humor. You saw it in his son, George W. as well, and you see it all the time. But uh, he, he, could, uh, he could take a joke and give one out. And I just I'll, always, one of my favorite things would be uh, him interacting with Dana Carvey on the Saturday Night Live uh, skits there and him playing along because he saw the fun in it, he saw the, uh, the humor in it when uh, people chalked him up as a combination of John Wayne and Mr. Rogers and how he carried himself and, uh, and the whole Nagada thing that uh, he interacted with Dana Carvey and it, ju it just showed a well-rounded great man this man was and is and that we're appreciative of the opportunity to commemorate him and his service in all capacities and all phases of his life. So God bless him. God bless the whole Bush uh, family. And uh, thank you for